In our previous video, we discussed why we need a coding standard and why we should be using the PSR2 or the PSR12 coding standards. In this video, we're going to discuss a tool that we can use to verify that our code is using that standard and correct it if it's not. Hello developers and welcome to PHP Developers TV, your home for everything you need to know to be a knowledgeable PHP developer. I'm your host, Scott Keck Warren. Using PHP Code Sniffer to check and correct your code. The tool we're going to use for this process is the PHP Code Sniffer project. The PHP Code Sniffer project comprises of two different scripts. The PHP Code Sniffer, which is used to detect violations in our coding standards, and the PHP Code Beautification and Fixer tool, which is used to automatically fix any violation, at least most of them. To find violations in our code, these tools use classes written in PHP called SNFs. That's why it's called PHP Code Sniffer. Per the PHP Code Sniffer instructions, the easiest way to install these tools is to download them directly to our computer using something like curl or wget. We actually prefer installing them using the composer package into just our project because then it will be installed for anyone working on that project and we'll be at the same version. Let's look at an example. This is our user class, and it has a couple of places where the formatting doesn't align perfectly with the PSR12 standard. To see where our problems are, we're going to run the PHP CS script against it. Yikes, that's a lot of issues we need to fix. Thankfully, the PHP code beautification and fixer tool can come to our rescue and fix most of them for us. Notice how it says it fixed nine errors, but there's one remaining. We'll come back to that in a minute. Let's see what our user file looks like now that it's been corrected. Mostly what we fixed were spacing issues, so it's no surprise that PHP code beautification and fixer tool could do it automatically. Let's see what our final error is. In this case, the name of our class should be Pascal case, and it's not. This is an example of a rule that we have to manually fix because there's no easy way to do it automatically. Once we do this, PHP ECS won't report any problems. Using an editor plugin. We never want to do anything manually that we can do automatically. To that end, the best place to run static code analysis tools is as close to when we make our changes as possible. In this case, we absolutely should use whatever methods our editor supports to run PHP code sniffer as soon as we've written our code. Ideally, we would have our editor display the errors as we are writing the code, what you need to know. The PHP Code Sniffer project provides PHP CS and PHP CBF scripts. PHP CS shows us our errors and PHP CBF fixes them automatically. As always, thank you for watching our video. Please make sure to subscribe, comment, and like as it does help others find us. If you want to help support the channel, find us on Patreon. We would love it if you'd support us and we'll include your name in our list of supporters in each video. Are you using the PHP Code Sniffer library? Let us know in the comments. This is Scott Keck Warren for PHP Developers TV signing off and reminding you to keep coding.